What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new AEW action figure news. And no, you're not hearing things, Brad. We finally have some updates, some brand new AEW action figure images, as well as some new news slash pre-order stuff going up, man. So, if you guys would like any of the stuff you see in today's video, go over to Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use code MDTOYS. Get your pre-orders in, of course. Got some pretty cool stuff going on that I'm excited about and something that I am absolutely excited for here in today's video, man. So let's go ahead and dive in, man. Remember all of the stuff over the past few months. Everybody has been wondering where the hell the AEW action figures have gone. There was a massive hiatus. Jeremy Padauer came out and confirmed that 2023 was going to be a big year, and we're coming into 2023 with some brand new stuff, and I'm excited for it, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. We have AEW and Match Series number 6 as well as Supremes and a brand new Ringside Exclusive Announcer Accessories Pack. So let's start off with that, man. Let's start off with the AEW AEW accessories pack, which is something that we saw on display at FanFest. Not, I guess, I guess for now it's been forever, it seems like. But if you guys remember, we did have this image of all three announcers. We had Tony Schiavone, Jim Ross, Excalibur, all in their chairs at the announce table. Everybody was like, is that just a diorama piece? Is this a real thing? And it is legitimate. The AEW announcer accessories pack, ringside exclusive, is up for pre order. And it does say what it's going to include. It includes a break apart announce table, which is always you know, very clutch. It looks to be very big as well. Three displays. Now, I'm guessing that means three monitor displays, like three display monitors. As you guys can see in the image there, you'll have the AEW logo on the back. It says three headsets. Of course, you got to have your headsets for your AEW commentator, so your Excalibur, your Jim Ross, and your Tony Schiavone. AEW fabric backdrop, which would be the thing that is obviously the backdrop. That's obviously what that's, you know, referring to right there, which would be the AEW backdrop little cloth display there. It says that it's AEW fabric backdrop, so I don't know exactly, you know, what that entails. Is it gonna come with, like, a little pole that you could, you know, attach it to, like a shower curtain? I don't know if that's gonna be the thing, or if it's just gonna be attached, or are you gonna have to provide that on your own, and you just kind of throw it up yourself, and have to, like, tape it to something, or run a whole, like, I, I don't know what the hell's going on there, so you have to figure that out, but doesn't necessarily specify it here. Maybe when we get more images of it, or maybe by the time the video is posted, we have more images of it, but it doesn't really get into all the details, but that's a fantastic set. That is something I'm absolutely gonna be grabbing. I can customize that and customize those monitors. That is something I'm absolutely getting two or three of these sets. So that's going to be something that I for sure do. I think it could work for back stage stuff, commentary, lots of great stuff there. So that is up for pre-order right now. Ringside exclusive AEW announcer accessories pack. Also, not to mention, guys, we have the AEW Supreme Collection Series number 3, Penta and Ray Phoenix. We saw these figures a while back. Uh, all we have is render images still. We don't have any updates on what they're going to look like, all those different things. Is there a change in the plastic moving forward or anything with the new buyout and all the new, you know, the new umbrella that Jazz wears is under, of course. But Supreme Series 3 featuring Ray Phoenix and Penta should be very fun. Something that made me sick. I think this match is from like September 2021. So that's something that I, I I watched the highlights the other day. And I was like, my God, Brad, that feels like it was yesterday. But at the same time, it feels like it's been forever. And now we're getting this figure. You know, it's almost going to be like, what, a year and a half since the match. You also have what we're going to be covering today, which I'll get into with you guys. You guys can discuss your details. But not only do we have Supreme Collection Series 3, guys, we also have AEW and Match Collection Series number 6 featuring Ruby Soho, Brody Lee, Santana and Ortiz, Malachi Black, and Owen Hart. And we're going to go ahead and dive into the action figures, man. Let's start things off with the Brody Lee, the Mr. Brody Lee figure in AEW and Match Series number six. He is in his suit. He comes with his papers. He comes with his mic. You knew for damn sure they were going to throw that microphone in there, Brad. I mean, it just any, when in doubt, there's a god dang AEW microphone in there. I know it's just something we talk about here on the channel, but this comes with the exact same accessories and the exact same head sculpt it looks like as his AEW and Match Series three. However, you are getting a brand new suit mold here. I'm all for suit, you know, guys in suit figures. I ab like I cannot tell you and stress enough how much I love a good figure in a promo slash backstage slash suited figure, man. That stuff right there will just, like, I could just, just, it just makes the world go round for MDT. To see suited figures, backstage promo attires, things like that, man. This figure looks incredible. I love the red suit. I love the Brody Lee here. Fantastic. Love it. I, I, yeah, I, this is, this is all MDT right here. Loving this. Outside of that, we also have a look at the Chase Brody Lee, which is going to be the one of 3000 rare edition and this one's color palette this figure's color palette is 
incredible. It's simply incredible. You guys have the navy jacket with like the tan shirt, gray pants, the striped tie. Beautiful looking figure right here, man. I think this this figure meant on card looks aesthetically so good. Reminds me a lot of the 1 of 3000 Cody in the gray suit. Just so aesthetically pleasing. I love the way it looks. I am, for one, going to definitely try and track this down. I'd like to grab it. You know, I'm trying to get a loose selection of every chase. This is one I got to have, man. I just love the suited body, first of all. And then when you get in those new colors there and the nice tones, it looks incredible. But that is the chase variant or the 1 of 3000 chase variant in this set here. We also had a look at Owen Hart in the Luminaries Collection. You guys know that every other set, there is a Luminaries Collection figure. In Series 7, there is, you know, an LJN flashback style figure. And then in uh, the next set, every even set, there's supposed to be a Luminaries Collection. And in this set, it is going to be Owen Hart. Now, it's it's a pretty, just, I, I don't know, man. This figure right here, what's weird is, like, I, I've never seen Corazon de Leon at retail, so I don't know if they're, like, small, you know, they're scaling those back when it comes to packaging those in boxes when it goes out to retail. But this figure right here, I can't imagine doing the best at retail just because those Owen Hart fans are going to be like, that's not the Owen Hart I remember. And then for the people that already have the Owen Hart, they probably already got the ringside exclusive Owen Hart. And that one comes with a jacket. This one is not going to come with a jacket. It's in the red pants. It's got the same championship. I don't know, man. I feel like it's going to be a hard sell. It's a repaint of the ringside exclusive. And it's just not the best figure ever, man. A lot of people hated that ringside exclusive. A lot of people were not a fan of it. I liked it. You know, I, I didn't think that it was the gear that we wanted to see. But I think at the end of the day, I don't know how well this figure is going to go, man. And, and speaking of not only the regular edition, you have the Chase variant, which is going to be the 1 of 5,000. Now... This one's, I don't know how well the people are going to receive this one either. So we're going to have a black version, a red version, and a blue and gold version here for the 1 of 5,000 Owen Hart. These tights are probably the most toyetic because you're getting the blue, like a nice bright blue. You have that gold stars in there that kind of brightens it up a little bit. It's a little bit better than the black and white, a little bit better than the red and white. I think this one's probably the best aesthetically pleasing attire as far as the Owen Hart figures are concerned. You got the little lightning bolt on there. I just, I don't know, man. I just don't know how well these are going to perform. This may be one of the easiest chases to get. I could be wrong, you know. I mean, the Taz figure is literally one of the, you know, worst chases when it comes to different things like that. A lot of people didn't like the suited Cody chase. I don't really mind it that much, but I think this one's probably going to be one of the easier chases to get, but I could be wrong, you know. That's just me giving my opinion from afar, of course. What do I know? The lights are too bright for me. That, that sentence I just said right there is a whole nother can of worms that maybe I could open one day, but I gotta throw it out there. Nobody will will understand that reference maybe outside of like two to three people and I don't even know if they're gonna watch this video it's just something I gotta put out there you know what I'm saying I use you guys as a venting mechanism sometimes and I like to think that the people that watch these videos are friends of mine and people that I like to just let's just move on but I love you guys you guys are the best moving on to the next figure guys we do have a look at the unmatched series six Malachi black figure now this is going to be a I guess a little bit of a downgrade to the of course supreme edition which how are you gonna be the Supreme Edition, but this figure does look really cool. I think that it does give you a different take here. I don't know what's all different here, at least off the top of my dome. It does have a rubber entrance coat, which I am not going to be using. Brad's going to go right in the drawer for me. You know, he's not going to have the toe articulation. I don't know what the height and all the different, you know, if any tattoo differential. We're going to have to wait till I get this figure in hand to really dive into the details and what the differences are, but I'm all for Malachi Black. I think this figure looks great. I do believe he's in AEW Unmatched Series number 8 as well, and he's in his all black suit. That's a figure I'm really excited for to see what that looks like. Of course, you know, suited figures. I'm right there, Brad. But uh, I'm excited for this figure regardless. I'm gonna, you know, you got the skull mask. I think this figure is still gonna be very quality regardless if we have the Supreme Edition or not. You know, in a perfect world, this figure would probably be downgraded in size, maybe 10 to 15%, but uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath on that. Next up is gonna be Ruby Soho, which I could see getting a blood and guts figure one day, if you get what I'm saying. But this Ruby Soho figure looks insane. Was always a big fan of Ruby no matter where she was. And I like the look of this figure. Very aesthetically pleasing. I love all the tattoos. I like the head sculpts. I like the chain belt. I, you know, I, I like a lot of things going on with this. The articulation looks great. It looks like it's going to feel great in the hand. I hope it's not too damn big. I hope it feels good in the hand. It's not super loose. And uh, I just hope that it's overall quality. That's what I'm most concerned with. And that's really all you can ask for in these situations. But she, from afar, she looks really good. She passes the eye test, which is always huge. So I'm excited for this figure. I'm looking forward to this figure for sure. Ruby Soho looks to be one of the best women's figures of the year 
at least on paper, from where I'm standing. I'm actually sitting down. I am not standing right now. That would be weird. And the last two figures in the set, which is something that I want to talk to you guys about, is going to be the Santana and Ortiz from Unmatched Series number 6. Now, how hard of these are going to shelf for, man? Because it has been so long since that Blood and Guts match, since you had, you know, the Inner Circle versus the Pinnacle. I mean, you are talking about a, a, a lot of stuff to ask here. You got a, you got a big jump here, but I think a lot of the people that grabbed those first few figures, the Sammy Guevara, the Chris Jericho, the Jake Hager, and all their prison jumpsuits, you got to complete the set, right? Like, who's going to buy the Sammy and not buy the rest? Who's going to buy the Chris and not buy the rest? You know what I mean? So I think that'll be something. One thing that's really cool about the Santana is he actually comes with a fork holding hand, so you could use that for a bunch of different guys. I guess the skin tone may not be completely accurate for everybody, but I think he could probably swing it. You know, a little photo editing there wouldn't be too big, but you do get the fork there. Would have been cool, but he also comes with, like, you know, the night stick or the extended night stick or whatever you want to call that. The Ortiz is also very cool. You know, you could put a bunch of different people in, in jumpsuits now in the long sleeves and the long pants. He doesn't have anything rolled up or anything. Use these in toy photography. You could army build these guys and make a whole, you know, prison riot or something. I love the face paint on these guys. I just want to know if you guys are feeling how I am and do you think they're going to shelf warm really badly or what the case is. I know their first few figures, you know, their series one unmatched or series two unmatched and then their unrivaled four figures they kind of shell formed a little bit but i don't know maybe times are different we'll have to see however that is the full aew unmatched series number six ortiz also comes with a steel chair if you guys did not see that but all these things are up for pre-order man you have aew unmatched series number six the supreme series three the announcers accessories pack ringside exclusive all up for pre-order but if you guys would like to grab any of that stuff definitely go check that out but real quick before we get out of here i also want to just uh, pay my condolences and just my prayers and thoughts are with Jay Briscoe and his entire family, man. Just really sad and unfortunate situation, of course. Just my heart breaks for everybody involved in that situation. Uh, just the entire wrestling community, professional wrestling in general, man. I am just, I don't know, man. It just makes you really take a step back from everything that it, that is and just kind of reflect and I just want to uh, pay my respects and everything to Jay Briscoe at this time man just rest in peace to him and I just deepest condolences to his family his friends fans of him just everything man I just I want to I'll, I'll leave these last 20 seconds of the video before the you know the outro song kicks off just a, a nice moment of silence for him in these last 20 seconds and that's what we're going to do to end today's video in honor of him but thank you guys so very much for watching I hope you guys did enjoy leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below hope you guys have a blessed day I'll see you guys next time and I love you